I'm here at UDS-R in Copenhagen, Denmark, and I'm with Leanne Agasawara, the uh, Canonical Colonel Team Manager. Yes. Leanne, you guys announced what Colonel's going to be with uh, 13, no, yeah, 1304 mm -hmm. um, yesterday. So which Colonel did you pick and why? We're going to go with the 3-8 Colonel, and as we always do, we look at our release schedule when we predict the upstream Colonels to be releasing, and 3-8 just fell right in line. We think it'll come out early March time frame, and that'll give us a, at least a couple weeks to have it bake and maybe rebase on a couple upstream stable releases before we ship 1304. I, I know the, the kernel is such, it, in any Linux distribution, is, is key. It is that key piece of, of that makes everything happen. How has the involvement of the kernel team changed over the last couple cycles? Like, where else or you have your fingers in the Ubuntu world, in the canonical world. Where where all are you influencing now? So we're trying to actually look focus outside of our team a little bit more, network more with the community, try to involve um, more community participation and help. So we've been actually um, working with some of the Ubuntu Studio guys, trying to bring up their low latency kernel. We're actually having discussions later this week on possibly um, getting more support for the PowerPC ports flavors that we have and, and trying to hand over some of the maintainership of that. Um, to other community outside members and really try to focus um, on our core distribution uh, kernel that we have. I know quality has always been important um, to the kernel team, but last cycle quality was really pushed, um, and even more so this cycle. How um, are you guys interacting um, with that, and how are you helping bring the quality up? So uh, a big focus for us last cycle and this cycle has actually been having a dedicated member of our team interface with the QA team. We really want to try to bring up um, the kernel tests that we have. So we implemented, you know, XFS tests, EcryptFS tests. So we're looking to pull in more of those type of automated tests and really um, have them added to our internal QA test harness and also then hand that tooling and harness off in scripts to members of the community to run. And also this cycle going forward, we're looking to to really um, add a, a deep dive into some of the testing, maybe add some performance and benchmarking tests in there as well. Um, we have a clear focus as we head to 1404, not even 1304, but you know, years and um, multiple releases into the future on, on where we want to be. And, and one of the goals is that we're going to have daily consistent automated smoke testing really to make sure that we're not introducing more regressions. And we really want to make sure that by the time we hit the next LTS release, we have a very solid core infrastructure uh, in place to really QA our kernels as, as we move forward. So with the daily builds, which is to me an amazing thing, not waiting to every milestone to update, you could I mean, you can do that daily if, if you want. What do you want to see from the community? What do you want to see? Um, do you want people to try these daily builds? Do you want them to, to get back in touch with you? And how do they do that? So we appreciate the dog fooding. That's where we get our biggest feedback in terms of uh, our response. And we try to dog food every day internally amongst our teams, you know, upgrade to the latest every day and just make sure that um, we're installable and runnable um, from multiple hardware points of view. Uh, so we appreciate people who uh, run the latest crack of the day kernels. Um, even we've been providing upstream, latest upstream stable releases. Um, and we appreciate people testing those and because that's uh, even before we rebase to those, we'll find bugs early and often. So if they do find a bug, just of course file it in Launchpad. Um, you can run a command line called Ubuntu Bug Linux and it'll um, capture all the system logs uh, from the machine and add, attach those to the bug report. We definitely want to hear about them, especially if there's regressions that are caught early. It's, it's easier for us to uh, determine where we introduced um, a, a bad patch, for example, and we can try to um, alleviate um, any of those issues going forward. I know as an end user, there's often been times, especially with different uh, manufacturers' hardware, um, where I had some overheating issues with different kernels. And, and I say that because sometimes people get the impression that a kernel team with any distribution is not approachable. You guys are probably one of the most approachable teams um, in, in Ubuntu. And I know when I've had issues, I jumped into your IRC channel on your mailing mm -hmm. list after I filed a bug and been taught how to um, walk those kernels back until, you know, and help test that. Is that, that manual, um, you know, finding out where that regression happened. Is that something that uh, 
Nick on the on the community team will be working more with community owners. Is that something you guys will still work on that that manual? Right. I, I assume Nick is going to probably um, funnel people in our direction, and then we'll we'll have them work closely with our defect analyst Joe Salisbury, and he's doing an amazing job um, walking people who are reporting bugs and regressions through that bisect process to you know really narrow down the window of regression that we've introduced a, a problem. Um, we have it down to an exact science almost now um, in terms of having him work and, and build test kernels for these end users who, who are trying to narrow down an issue. So um, we'll definitely appreciate anybody um, reporting those types of bugs to us and we'll work closely with you to you know, get a solution in place. I know a lot of the community think that you have to be a kernel developer, you must be an engineer to work closely with your team. From personal experience, um, I know that's not true. What would you like the community to know about um, how to get involved with the kernel team? So like you said, don't be shy. Feel free to email us directly um, or you know, jump on our IRC channel on Freenode. It's hash um, Ubuntu kernel. Uh, we're more than welcome to field any questions and, and even more so, we appreciate people wanting to contribute. So there's been some a lot of good work and people uh, triaging bugs for us, um, asking for uh, additional logs being attached, asking for upstream kernels to be tested. So we appreciate any extra help we can get. Is there anything about 1304, 1404, even this UDS, um, that I haven't asked you about that you'd like to tell the community about? Um, I think one of the other big um, exciting things that we're going to be focusing on, obviously, is um, looking at our power management story and how we can um, make improvements there. So we're actually going to be focusing on putting some uh, tooling in place to allow people to run um, and, and measure how much uh, power consumption their applications are, are drawing from their system and seeing if we can um, try to push that number down. I, we have someone on, on the Lenora side, our CTO, who's like begging for 10 hour battery life. So if you guys could <laughs> even give me five hours of battery life on, on my computer, I would really enjoy that. So I, for one, want to um, encourage that and right. help out any way I can. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for sitting down with me today and look forward to 1304 and even more to 1404. So thank you so Great, much. Great, thanks.